day for a brand new challenge that I want to, I actually want to do it with the famous, popular, profitable, and more than perfect one minute strategy. So if you guys remember, I actually left $100 in my trading account with Quotex and um, I wanted to make a challenge in trying to take the $100 all the way to $10,000 in today's session, just today. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but if I lose the $100, that's okay. I can just redeposit $100 more and start being more conservative. And I promise you, after I finish with this challenge, whether I win it or not, I will be more conservative with my trades and I'm going to be trading with 5% of my balance on every single trade. So is that a deal? Awesome. So if you're new into my channel and you're into binary options, Forex trading, crypto trading, or any type of making money online, then this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate the notifications bell icon so that you get a notification for every new video that I upload. But super important, if you enjoyed the content of this video, smash the like button to help the YouTube algorithm so that this video can be shown to thousands of people out there who are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel. With that being said, let's dive in right into the video. Hey, before I jump into the content of this video, I just give you, want to give you a warning. There are going to be spam comments that unfortunately my team sometimes misses because there are so many scammers out there trying to use the name of BLW and they actually create profiles saying BLW online trading or pinned by BLW online trading or reply from BLW online trading and they give WhatsApp numbers, Facebook profiles, Telegram profiles. All of those are a scam. Okay, so be careful. There they're just people trying to scam people by using our name, our brand, and so on. So be super, super careful with those specific comments. We we'll try to delete them as soon as possible, but in case you see any of those comments, just make sure you give them a thumbs down and uh, I don't know, just wait for us to delete it. Okay, the broker that I'm going to be using for this specific challenge is called Quotex.io. Uh, I'm gonna have the link in the description of this video. It's by far the best broker for binary options in 2021, including US, Canada, and every place in the world. Everybody is accepted in this specific uh, broker. So therefore, I'm going to be using it, but you guys can use whatever broker you guys want to for this specific strategy. I'm going to link a video somewhere in the card so that you can actually understand this strategy. I'm not going to explain it in this video because it's going to take me, I don't know, probably an hour or something like that. But just to give you a brief explanation, right? Because I don't want to give you like a video with trades but not explaining. Uh, it's a combination between stochastic oscillator and RSI. So basically when you see an overbought market like this one right here in our, um, on stochastic, but the RSI touches the 70 level of the RSI uh, of the boundaries, then basically you enter for a put position and the opposite happens for a call position. Let me look for an example, such as this one right here. You can see that this is an overbought market and this is an, oh, I'm sorry, oversold market and RSI is also oversold. Therefore you enter for a trade for one minute. It's as simple as that. The candlestick ha the candlesticks have to be in one uh, in 30 seconds. So I think that explanation covers everything at the moment. So right now what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to start looking for entry opportunities. Let's find trade number one. Okay, so this one looks like a good entry point. So I just enter for one minute trade, even though there's 30 seconds left because I don't really think it's actually going to drop that much since the stochastic is actually crossing. If by any chance it drops more and he touches again the RSI, then I'm going to enter. The best time to enter would have been right here, but I, I, I actually missed the entry point. But other than that, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at what happens just right now. Remember that these are one minute entry points. So uh, right now it's 20 seconds left. I'm not sure if I'm going to record like talking every single trade because otherwise it would be like an hour video, but uh, I'm going to record every single trade. Okay. Beautiful. So we won the first one. We started good. 
we are at $120. So let's just go ahead and find a new entry point. Okay, so we're we're actually down 40% of our balance, which is okay, like I mentioned. Uh, today's a challenge. So I want to sure I want to make sure that we do it right. Obviously, right here we were betrayed by the actual movement of the RSI, but it's completely fine. We're gonna continue. If we blew up the account, that's fine. That's part of the challenge. Right now, I'm gonna keep on looking for entry points and hopefully we can recover.
people so it's been a busy morning i just want to say that up front the first trade that i actually placed uh it's not even shown here but it was like around 8 30 or something a.m right now in my local time is actually 10 33 a.m so it's been two hours pretty much or maybe a little bit more since i started with this specific session all right and i've placed a total of 22 trades so far i have a balance of 457 dollars i've had some drawbacks as you can see um i even took my account again to like a hundred and something dollars i have some losses then some wins but basically overall and as an average we are making money i'm not sure if we're gonna be able to make it today to 10 grand but i'm gonna try to be at least at two thousand dollars so that maybe tomorrow we can get to 10 grand but so far everything is looking pretty smooth so i'm gonna look to place at least 10 more trades and 13 more trades in order to finish with 35 35 uh trades now i just want to say up front that this is not recommended for beginners and i'm not doing this as financial advice this is just a challenge that i decided to take myself but even if i stop right now i uh Pretty much I multiply my account by four in a matter of two hours. But we're gonna continue continue to see if I can take it at two thousand dollars. I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, people, so payouts are not really as good as we would want to. So I prefer to actually stay away from this um, session. And tomorrow, there are no like significant news going on uh, except for 6.30 a.m. And I'm gonna start like around 7.30. So we should be good to go. Therefore, I prefer to continue with this session tomorrow. I'm sorry I couldn't make it in one day, but I promise you that tomorrow I'm gonna get really close or we're gonna get to our target. We almost got to uh, $1,000, which is absolutely amazing. It's actually 10 times what we had in our balance. So hopefully you enjoyed this part of the video and I'll see you tomorrow to finish finish with this challenge. All right, people, so I'm back with the second part of this specific uh, video. And I'm sorry to tell you that the video is obviously, as you probably see it, it's pretty damn long. But the reason why is because I'm recording every single trade that I'm actually placing. I couldn't really continue trading on Tuesday. Today is actually Thursday, July the 22nd. And until, up until today, I could continue with this specific session and super important that i want to share with you is that right now i reached a total of five thousand dollars but before i actually continue with this session i want to show you all the live trades that i placed right now so let me go ahead and show it to you right now and i'll see you in just a bit
Okay, so now that you've seen how I was able to reach $5,000, and I'm sorry that there was, I think, a couple of trades that were not recorded. Right now, the session is looking pretty good. Uh, we've been winning most of our positions, and right now we are at, we are at $5,000, so that means that we're going to jump into, uh, uh, into $1,000 trades. Now, super important that you understand is that I'm trading with around 20% of my balance so that I can place at least 20, uh, at least five positions and not wiped out my account, okay? That's super important. That's the strategy or the management that I'm using for this specific streaming or this specific video. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm gonna look for more opportunities and show them to you right now.
Okay, so we are done and we reached our target of $10,080. So we jumped from a total of $100 all the way to $10,000 in two days only. As a matter of fact, just today, I made a total of $8,000 pretty much in profit. And if we go to the trades history, this is what we are going to be looking at, okay? I don't remember when is it that we started. Let me just go ahead and see if I can find the exact date. Oh, not date. I mean, there was a Monday, but the exact moment. Uh, $9, $700. Okay, I think it was around this area right here. Yeah, this was the first trade of this specific challenge. This was on Monday at around 14.39 GMT. And um, what, can I, what can I say? I mean, uh, I'm not even sure how many trades we actually placed right here. Take a look at the amount of trades and then right here. And yes, we were able to reach a total of $10,000. I'm super, super excited and thankful for you guys to stay up until the end of this video. Okay. I know it was complicated. Definitely for the video editor, it will be complicated as well. The time that I'm finished recording this video, but I, don't, I wanted to show you that it's possible. Obviously this was just a challenge and I do recommend you to stick to one trade per entry of 5% or two entries of 2% of your balance. And from now on, I'm going to start to be uh, I'm going to start being more conservative when it comes to my sessions obviously placing no more than five trades uh, stopping after two out of the money and more importantly placing trades of no more than five percent of a balance but I wanted to show you this specific streaming this specific uh, challenge and hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did smash the like button Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you have any questions or comments to share, you're always welcome to use the comment section below. You will be able to find the answers from my team in case you guys have any questions. And more importantly, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel and you wanna see more videos just like this one, hit that subscribe button below. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.